Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley. <laughs> I can't choose what the heck I want to say in my intro, so that's just what it's going to be for now. But today, we are building in the lovely, lovely world of Evergreen Harbor, and I believe this is, yep, Stone Street Apartments number four. And all together, the weekly rent for this is going to cost $500 with a deposit of $750. And in total, the furnishings cost 37980 simoleons. So I guess I should have said that the rent is 500 simoleons and deposit is 750 simoleons. Um, but it ends up being a two-bed, one-bathroom apartment where I end up making the second bedroom, which is... I think kind of the smaller of the two rooms end up being like a workout slash office area because what I figured would be perfect for this apartment, which is the whole reason why I built this apartment the way I did, was I figured it would be really ideal for a fitness influencer and I also, as I was kind of like decorating, I was like, well, maybe the fitness influencer can be like, you know, going to college, but also making some money on the side by uploading videos and things like that. So you'll end up seeing that the second bedroom ends up being full of influencer stuff. But right now we are kind of wrapping up the kitchen. While I was giving that little intro, we kind of just flew right through it. But I figured I didn't want to make it like super stereotypical of an influencer because stereotypes are just kind of dumb. But I just figured something that I think of and just I love having plants in my house, whether they're fake or they're real. I feel like when I think about a lot of different influencers whose videos I watch, whether they're like fitness influencers or not, I feel like, of course, depending on their style, but... There's lots of whites and just simple, almost like a minimalist style homes, at least for the people that like videos that I've seen. And that's not personally my style, but that kind of style is very easy to, it's easy to decorate. Just in my opinion, I, I'm like, okay, just do less than I would normally do or try to make it less cluttered, which just therefore makes a build so much easier and maybe it's not as fun but it's quicker and it's just I don't know it's just easier kind of in that sense but yeah I just wanted to make this apartment very white and simple and I love when you actually like get your neighborhood or any neighborhood but the neighborhood in Evergreen Harbor which is this one I forget the name of this neighborhood but when the apartments go from industrial or I guess neutral to eco-friendly or green, it's like all the, all, I feel like you can hear all the cars. So fun fact, I'm in my car. <laughs> I'm not driving. I got to work really early today and I didn't want anyone to walk in on me doing this voiceover. So that's why I'm still in my car. And yeah. So anyway, just bear with me, you guys. I'm sorry, but I love when the apartments go from, yeah, like neutral or industrial to this like green um, eco footprint because the windows get huge. The front door is amazing. I mean, you can see it's amazing. I love the way it opens and I don't personally decorate houses that way. And obviously you can't change the exterior of an apartment. So therefore you can't change the exterior doors and windows or any of the windows as a matter of fact. And I don't know. I just, I really like, I, I love when they're, when they're in the green footprint. I think they're so pretty. And yeah, so here, so here we are, yeah, pretty much in the living room. I'm making this nice little sectional because I still can't get enough of the modular seating, which we just recently got. I'm just loving it. And I, I don't know. I think a lot of people, I mean, I don't know about most people, but I think a lot of people have the, this kind of couch just because it's it seats more people. I personally find that they're more comfortable because you can kind of like spread out, especially if you have like a chase like this lucky Sim <laughs> will have. And I believe maybe, I can't remember, I took a couple of rounds of screenshots, but I end up moving around the decor on this I guess, entertainment unit a little bit. 
everything ends up, all these items end up being the same, but see how I have like that darker, like cubed X, that 3D X kind of like decor piece. I don't know what you would call that. And then I have the darker little plant that has like the, I don't know what those are, like wooden kind of like straw like things popping out of them. I'm great at explaining things if you couldn't tell. But those two things, I feel like they end up being too close together, being like such a contrasted color compared to like all the lights in this house. So I end up moving the X over to the other side of the entertainment unit. Honestly, it's not a huge deal. If anything, I think it looks better that way because you kind of need some balance. You know, if you have like an entertainment unit and there's a ton of dark colors on one side and light colors on the other, it just doesn't look right. And I'm sure most people can agree. Okay. Okay. We get it. I mean, we get it. (laughs) Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. (laughs) Okay. We are moving on into the bathroom. I really apologize, you guys. I try to be as professional and as prepared as I possibly can, but yesterday was Father's Day and we were just really busy celebrating with my husband's family and my family and it was just... I don't know. I could have uh, planned this this week out a little better. You know, I'm literally just admitting to procrastinating basically because I upload every Monday. So that's nothing new. I should have known that we were going to be busy on Sunday, which I did. But I worked all like Monday through Saturday. I don't know. I'm making excuses. So just shut up, Ashley. Anyway, we are on into the bathroom. I end up making this bathroom pretty cute. I feel like it's very apartment appropriate because I feel like this is a slightly nicer apartment, especially like if you just, if that entertainment unit say was like a fixed fixture in the apartment, that's like a really nice feature to have. And then also the kitchen is really nice. And I mean, just the exterior in the neighborhood, it would just, it would cost more to live here. I just figured it would, this apartment just needed kind of like a separate little toilet area. And I feel like that's just slightly more fancy. I would have loved to have a shower tub combo in here, but a lot of apartments don't have tubs. And if they do, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the times it's just a tub. I mean, that's like for older apartments, but this to me just kind of screams, I'm a brand new apartment sort of thing. But we are now moving on into the second bedroom, which is the influencer room. And you'll see in the screenshots that... I had already play tested and added a few things here and there, but when I say that, I just mean like I end up putting the little media, what is that, like a media production center in here where you can like film videos, edit videos, things like that. I end up placing that in here, and as I'm play testing with my sim, I end up adding some ring lights and a better camera. I think it's like the HD camera or whatever. So in the screenshots, you'll see it's It's more of a proper, I guess, uh, media production center that you would potentially see in an influencer's house. So I also put uh, a yoga mat here because I just figured even though it's not going to really work this way, your sim can't film themselves doing like workout videos, but I just kind of imagine this is like a Lily Sabri moment or a Mad Fit moment or a Blogilates moment. So... I had to put the plants, of course. I mean, if your sim and me in general, if I was a fitness influencer and I was filming myself all the time doing workouts, you best believe I'm going to have real or fake plants or both all behind me just to make it look good. And I fucking love plants. (laughs) But we are kind of hopping a little bit back and forth between this room and the bedroom because I wasn't liking how like just the walls looked kind of weird in the bat and not in the bathroom in the bedroom and I guess these rooms are kind of a similar size they're just slightly different shapes but maybe that that workout room did lose a little bit of room as I expanded this I mean it definitely did but it also I think it ends up working out super well though they they seem kind of like even to me And I forgot to mention that in the workout room or the office room, we'll just call it a workout room from now on, but in that other room, I end up putting some clothes in there because I figured if this sim is 
truly going to be a fitness influencer, then they have, you know, lots of PR coming in and whether it's workout clothes or, you know, other cute clothes that you could wear out and about, then, you know, you need a place to store it. So I put some in there and I figured it would be like just more realistic that way. So I layered some cute little rugs in here. I end up just really loving the way that this entire build turns out. It's super fun to play in. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're coming up on the screenshots. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you're aware of when I upload, which I will just tell you right now is Mondays, but maybe not today if I don't get this video out in time. But no, it's Mondays, okay? I promise I'll be more prepared in the future. And if you guys didn't already know, I have an Instagram too. <laughs> It's um, Ashley Angelina with two Y's and two A's at the end, end of Angelina. So if you go on there, you'll see I have an exciting announcement coming June 30th. So anyway, go check that out. And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you in a future build. Bye.